What's up, Talk It Off listeners? This is your boy, Cody Carson, here coming to you with some really important information. Sure, we're home right now, but we are about to already head back out on the road. Can you believe it? Doing it again. So if you missed those uh, dates that were on the Sum 41 Simple Plan Tour, uh, a.k.a. New York City, Asbury Park, New Jersey, Worcester, Massachusetts, we're still playing those makeup dates, and we want to see you there. So if you haven't gotten your tickets, August 25th, New York City, August 26th, Asbury Park, New Jersey, and August 28th in Worcester, Massachusetts. So we will see you there. And if you live in the U.K. or Europe, the tour is finally happening. It's actually going to happen this time. So excited, God willing. And we are flying out starting on November 5th in Norwich all the way until December 1st in Stockholm, Sweden. We are coming your way. Be there. Not to mention, on top of all of that, we are going to be playing four chord music festival with the likes of All Time Low, Jimmy Eat World Story so far, starting line, the main, and we will be there on Saturday, September 10th. So much is happening. So much to be thankful for. So make sure to go get your tickets and VIP at setitoffband.com. We will see you there. Enjoy the show. Oh, yo, it's crazy. If it's recording, oh, is we're it going right now? Yeah, we're going. Dude, so we literally <sighs> just got done yep. playing the set, and then we rushed to VIP, and no, no, I'm sorry, we rushed to the merch table, yeah. and met as many people as we could, yeah. and then immediately left and ran through the rain to start this podcast. There's yes. a tornado watch until 9 that's, p.m. That's, that's the truth. It oh. does. <laughs> It's just lightninged outside. Wow. Is that oh, the cor- is that we're the- holding electronics. Is that the correct <laughs> term? It lightning? It lightning. It, it, it lit. No, I think it was. It, dude, it lightning out here, man. It <laughs> lightning. <laughs> oh, no. Plug it no, back in. Max got unplugged. Plug it back Sounds in. Sounds like we're doing an acoustic session for you. Max unplugged. Yeah, dude. We this, so we had this concept. still working? Who, I don't know who came up with it initially. That definitely wasn't me. One of y'all was like, yo, what if we yeah. just like... I had it, it all set up. I think it was me. I think I yeah, came yeah, up yeah. with the idea of as soon as the sh- we have we set everything up for the podcast on the bandwagon, and as soon as it's done, we come out here and rip the gig. And yeah. I'll tell you what, the adrenaline is still pumping. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's in my veins, oh, dude. Oh, dog, I feel you. So to give you the breakdown, we're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It just lightninged again. It lightninged. Um, and so we we just finished our set. Like Jack, uh, like Jack, Zach said, we went out and talked to everybody. It was nonstop. Played the set, finished it, walked over. In the mo- it's, it's crazy, man. So merch right now is in a really crowded area. So we had to find our way like in there, which we went the wrong way. Yeah. Um, but everyone was really polite and let us through. We got to meet a bunch of amazing people that were talking about like when they saw us last and how many times they've been to see us and a lot of new people. Um, signed a bunch of things, took some photos because we get to do this again, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, wow. Great yeah. crowd tonight. It was, it was really fun. We're in Pittsburgh, yeah. Pennsylvania, literally right next to where the Steelers play. We could throw a stone and hit Heinz Field. Yeah, which is crazy. And uh, the show was like, um, it's on this tour. It's been fun because we've headlined for, I don't know, four years Oh, now? dude, I wanted to talk about that. The yeah. difference. Of yeah, so like- we've headlined for like four years, which, you know, as a lot of people know, like, when you're the headliner, most of the people are coming to see you. So the crowd's excited already before you even get on stage. Yeah. Ninety-five percent of the people at this show tonight have no idea who we are, or yeah. if they do, they have a very little idea. And now, and on, to compound that with the fact that both the bands that are doing this are yeah. like doing an anniversary tour of these albums, yeah. like All Killer and, and and all that. So like people are coming up, like I just want to listen to this. Yeah. So there's like this added challenge as a support band to like show up, and be like. We have to convince you to like us yeah. because we want you to come back and see us again. Yeah, which I, I honestly like. It feels good to do it again. I like it, man. I, I I embrace the challenge yeah. so much. There is no, I mean, there are few better feelings than having someone come up to us after and go, "I had no idea who you were, and now I am a huge fan." Yeah, um, yeah. I think one of the things we've always prided ourselves on is being a good live band, and yeah. not just like how we play our instruments, but putting on a good show. And getting a crowd engaged, I think I feel like you could probably talk about this. Like a crowd that's standing there who has no idea who you are, getting them to move back and yeah. forth, to jump, yeah. to clap, to learn the to learn the lyrics yeah. before they've ever heard the song oh, is so incredibly it's very difficult. strategic. Yeah. So in this set, uh, we we do Wolf's second song in Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, yeah, yeah, which yeah, people yeah. like. That's usually our closer. You ever heard of it? <laughs> ever, you ever heard of it? Go Wolf in Sheep's off band Spotify. It's been uh, trending. Uh, no, it's <laughs> it's basically like our thought is. We, we take into account the bands we're touring with. What do we think their audience is going to be like? How do we get them to move around? And um, so second song in is Wolf. And for the first time ever, we 
after the uh, the spoken word thing, we don't go right into burning hell. We have this whole moment where we make people put their arms around each other and jump left and right because yeah. once they do that, which by the way, they have no choice to because they are <laughs> they're going to yeah. get trampled. If yeah, they the don't. whole crowd is like, "I'm going this way, so you're fucking yeah. going this and way." And then that forces people that wouldn't jump outside of their comfort zone, no pun intended, to finally jump outside of their comfort zone, yeah. and then they're along for the ride, seemingly for the rest of of the show. But then there's that, and there's a sing along moment at the end for why to why. We just want them to have, we want them to go home going like, all right, this was a great show. Also, who was uh, that band? Also, how's your guys' adrenaline levels? Because do you hear still- me? <laughs> I'm, I can't shut the fuck up right <laughs> now. We're talking still- fast. Yeah. We're talking fast. Are we? Yeah, yeah, we're like 170 beats per minute. Oh my podcast. god! Um, <laughs> I went to the highest field and then I saw hot dogs tonight. <laughs> the other thing that I feel like uh, I forgot about is usually with our headlining sets, we get really ambitious. We'll yeah. play like, I don't know. F- 48 songs in a yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot, right? If you and include so, the med- medley, it's like 312. It's a lot, right? <laughs> people, people are at home like, literally? Yeah. <laughs> and so I have, I feel like I have to pace myself during that headlining set. Oh, dude. But for this, it's a little bit shorter. I just get to go as hard as I possibly can for every single song. Ooh, that's another thing. with uh, For me, vocally, like headlining almost feels slightly easier yeah. vocally because... And the parts where people sing along, it's like this moment. You put the you put the mic out yeah. when you're playing with a crowd that majority like the, the majority doesn't really know who you are that much. You go, everybody sing. It's like two people. Yeah, it's like it's like a pocket here, a pocket there, a pocket over there. And I'm like, well, I can't do that as much. So I'm singing constantly. Yeah, I notice that I do things on stage when we're supporting that I don't do during headliners. Like Like what? Like stand taller and like and like (laughs) hold my guitar up higher and like try and be more impressive because none of these people know who we are at all. We're pitching ourselves. Yeah, and it's like we're all colored haired. We all have makeup on. That's another thing I thought about. Is like so some forty one. And, and Simple Plan, they all wear just black clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're classic. And the audience is primarily wearing black clothes. You know when you walk out. Like, I talked about this in the last podcast. I walked in with, with pink hair, and some, some dude was like, oh. I feel like there's going to be quite a few people in the audience that go, oh. Oh, yeah. I will, see us. I will say, though, after the set, if I've been walking around in the crowd, there have been a couple times where, where a, a dude, a big, strong dude wearing all black, <laughs> has come up to me in a hurry, and I'm like, am I about to get my ass kicked? <laughs> comes up to me, and he's like, got this scowl on his face, and he goes, dude, you fucking killed yeah. it tonight. I'm like, it's, oh, the best compliment yeah. I've ever Not, not to pat ourselves on the back too much, but it has been that a lot, and it's been it's felt great, man. There's all these like people, you, you'd, you like... It's it's just the uh, what's the word? Don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, yeah. These people are like these. This person's gonna hate us, and they walk up and they tell us how, how much they love our set, and it's so exciting to know that it's working. So as you can tell, it's not just adrenaline compounded with great set. It's it's adrenaline compounded with we're so happy with how oh, the story is oh, going. Oh, 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 For anyone who's ever it's, been oh, to a show, if you've ever seen the, the bunny. <laughs> If you've ever seen the bunny I in the crowd, I can see you at all. He's he's crawling. Yeah. There he goes. That's um, the the bunny who plays guitar for us. Yeah. Just crawled away so he yeah. wouldn't be on the camera. But without getting too like too cheesy, Bobby, Bobby. the thing that <laughs> the thing that I uh, I've started to realize is like with, with Simple Plan and Some Forty One specifically, one of the reasons that I gravitated to them so much as a kid was that it was music for outcasts. It was, yes, you know, I wanted something a little bit different, something you know more towards the counterculture. And so all of these people experience that same thing. And so I don't think they're really here to judge. I think they no, like no, good no, no, music no. and they're just here to have a good I time. I think it's so. just this this voice in the back of my head like, we'll go in with lower expectations. What if they don't like you? It's fine. It's like that imposter syndrome thing a little bit. Like there's there's a chance you're going to give it your all and they're going to be like, I do not care. And that's happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we've been Many through the yeah. yeah, I think I think it's funny to to find people in the crowd who do have their arms crossed, who do are not nodding their head, not raising their hands, yes. not doing anything in the audience and trying to turn them Dude, into a fan. Once per show, it's been what, three shows? Three shows so far. Once uh every single show I've seen at least three or four people that are had their arms crossed like who are you prove yourself and by the end they're they're nodding their head, moving their hands. I have noticed the, the jumping is the thing people want to do the least. Yeah, yeah. Well, As, you this is an today? Today? today you went, is it the knees? <laughs> <laughs> do you have bad knees? Yeah. Like, On stage, Cody goes, insults people's <laughs> knees, going, hey, you got shitty knees. <laughs> I Okay, so... so Jump or don't jump shit knees. I, I was like, I'm trying to like, be yeah. like, how do I get you to move? Because well, I know we're an older crowd. You are also... Okay, so, so uh, before I say this, you yeah. are... Unbelievable as far as a front man getting people engaged. But one of the things that I you 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 tap into this energy sometimes that is like disappointed father. Yeah. <laughs> Where you're like, jump, 
that's not good enough. <laughs> and everybody's like, I'm oh. disappointed. <laughs> I'm not going to show him my report cards. Yeah. <laughs> and it works. No, so. the, I, I wanted to try something new th- today, and I they weren't jumping. And I, I was thinking about this yesterday because the jumping thing was a problem yes, uh, uh, a little bit yesterday. So I was like, I'm, I'm going to say it. And I did. And I don't think it worked. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I, I said, it's like, I know, was it the knees? We got bad knees. Like, yeah. come on, let's let me see you jump. We well, yeah. know it's and funny. I'm doing it as a I joke, have, just busting balls, you know. I have bad knees. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wear two knee braces every yeah. show. Um, so, like, I, yeah. I feel for them. But at the same time, I'm jumping. You can jump. Yeah. No disrespect to bad knees. I was just like, yeah. how do I get you to go like, no, it's not. Yeah. No, I'm going to start a movement. Jump. I'm going to start a movement. People <laughs> with bad knees. I'm against you. <laughs> PW. Yeah. yeah. Dude, B- at BK. A picketing outside of your bunk yeah. every single day. <laughs> like in the hallway yeah. of the bandwagon. Oh, I have bad knees. Oh, I have bad <laughs> He hates bad knees. <laughs> Prejudice against knees. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that people are going to have to listen to this podcast in 0. 0.5 speed. Yeah, yeah, oh, dude. God. We absolutely. Are cooking. We're I'm, all over the place. I wish that we had like uh, photos or video that we could insert of us. Literally ripping the gig, going straight to the merch table, and then immediately being done with merch, and then running through the fucking pouring Dude, rain. We legitimately, I cannot stress this enough. We walked in, Mac. Shout out, Mac. Oh yes. Um, we Mac had the whole thing set up. We we uh, Mac our videographer. We got this whole thing set up. He's got the camera set up, and he's been chilling in here, waiting for the moment. We ran through the torrential downpour, yeah. and uh, with the door open to go record, record. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Mac just, was ready. He immediately did. Immediately was ready. So yeah, this is the most in the moment. Because usually we set up, we get we get relaxed. Yeah, we get comfy. Like, I kind of like it. I kind of like this love rush it, to it. Yeah, and we have cuff. no plan of what we're going to talk about. No. It's just going. Let's talk about frozen desserts. <laughs> oh, they were going to say frozen two. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't as good as frozen one, but Elsa was I, still in I it. Never yeah. saw, I never saw it. You didn't see frozen oh, two? I didn't see it. Oh, my God. There's a couple good parts of the Olaf. I saw it. But the rest Are of you the an movie. Elsa or an Anna? Anna? Anna I'm an Olaf guy. Anna. Anna? Anna? Anna. Anna? Anna? Oh, this is Elsa and Anna? I like Elsa and Anna. Oh, this is my uh, this is my favorite princess Elsa, and this is her sister Anna. Anna, She's Anna, like, oh. <laughs> but that's like aunt and aunt, like that's a real thing. Yeah, yeah. it's Anna no, or Anna. It's Anna for sure. Though. I feel like Anna is m- less frequently. If we're gonna get serious thing. about it, it's yeah. Anna. Uh, <laughs> don't you besmirch? Do the you movie? want to build a snowman? <laughs> yes or, or no? no. <laughs> I'm sick of asking the question. <laughs> We are all over the place. We had uh, frozen desserts. Uh, no, this is a complete. I just started thinking this because we were talking about the angry thing. Um, there are certain songs that if you sing it with a different like, uh, kind of like a different vibe, it yeah, yeah. changes the oh, entire yeah. thing of the song. So we were singing very underrated Katy Perry song, <laughs> "Waking Up in Vegas." Yeah. But if you sing it like you're angry so at the person, you do, it's "Shut up and put your money where your mouth is." That's what you get for waking up in Vegas. Vegas. So happy. Yeah. Shut up and put, <laughs> put your, your money, money where your mouth is. is. That's what you get. <laughs> For waking up in What's Vegas, the, you idiot! Get up and shake the glitter off your clothes now. That's what you get. <laughs> oh, we used to do that all the time with, uh, with the, the Lady Gaga song. Lady Gaga. Yeah, just uh, dance, uh, just dance, gonna, gonna be okay. okay. Just dance, and then the verses. Yeah, like, uh, Where are my keys? I lost my phone. Oh, oh, oh! How my shirt get turned inside out? I don't know. If that's like the order, yeah. but if you like say it with like a drunk voice, yeah, like you're crying. Where are my keys? I lost my phone. Uh, my oh, shirt can turn inside out. out. <laughs> just dance. It'll be okay. <laughs> just dance. And then everybody's like, yo, you need to go home. <laughs> yeah. And we're singing like, yeah, that person having a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Got me thinking about that. We are yeah. how far? We're we're about what a week into this headline. We're gonna ask how far yes. we into the box is like what five minutes? Five minutes? <laughs> we've been talking fast. No, we're about what a week into this uh, this this yeah. tour that so, we've been doing. Yeah, I was looking at the schedule today. I, I we have this spreadsheet we always have, which shows every single show, mm-hmm. distance to the next drive, all that stuff. And I love crossing it out, just oh, seeing the progression nice. of the tour. And as of today, we're halfway through till we leave the U.S. for Slam Dunk. Yes. But we have about five more days until we're halfway done through the whole run. Yeah, it's going to wow. be crazy to finish this tour. What did that say? What a producer, At Mac. 13 minutes. Wow. Mac is such a good producer. Wow. No, we weren't supposed to read it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Oh, God. Um, so one of the things that I feel like uh, maybe could be interesting for people watching or listening. Maybe yeah. they don't give a shit. But um, we were talking the other day about how me, Zach, 
and the bunny guy that snuck through here on his, ar- his arms and knees or whatever. Yeah. Um, we do like some little like inside jokes during the set that yeah. you're singing, and so oh, you yeah. don't have. He I don't see anything. Cody never sees ever. any of them. I I always like wondered like, am I being like a bad bandmate? No. <laughs> like 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 I'm no, 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 so no. enthralled with just like what's happening. Have we talked about I, this on the podcast. I don't think we have. Or we have. Never you're talked about the them, Golden yeah. Lion. <laughs> yeah. You might have said that before. You're the golden lion, (laughs) and people look at the golden lion, and then we're like the silver cheetahs. And we're we're like, we're still shiny. We're We're still shiny, but like... One of the things that, that I, call it I saying have golden lion for like how many years? I, I don't know. If like s- day two of the band, I was like, yeah. "You're the golden lion." <laughs> I don't know if I've said it to you, but I've said it to a lot of other people because um, they're like, "Oh, great set," and blah blah blah. One of the things that I love about being in Set It Off is that you make my job so easy. Yeah. Why? Because you are so good at being a front man. I agree. That anything that I do is just it's just a nice little oh, cherry on top, yeah. man. Wow. Because like, the thing is, you can like. I mean, and not to toot my own horn, but with drums and vocals, if you mess up, people can tell, right? Yeah, yeah. With with guitar, you know, yeah, yeah, it's go fine. Hey, go fuck with, yourself. Don't pay attention. Don't pay attention. With, with bass, <laughs> keyboards, you know, things oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, bass? What's but, bass? But, like, <laughs> <laughs> so captivating as a front man, so good at vocals that anything that anything we do is just, like, that's also cool. So it's, like, it's it just makes it easy, man. You yeah. just make yeah. it so easy. That's very nice of yeah. you to say. Well, I am amazing. Um <laughs> And I will take it on the chin. <laughs> no, seriously. Like I, 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 I love being in this band with y'all so much, and I. That's why I was like, "Am I, am I being a? I feel like I'm being a bad friend sometimes because, like, you see, like, you know what it is. You know what I know what it is. You see these artists perform at like award shows, and like, they have a collaboration, sure. and they're like, they're like singing to each other. And I'm like, I've tried doing that live. Like, no. Simple Plan has been nice enough to let me sing on stage for uh, I'm Just a Kid, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, I should be. Looking at them, but if I'm thinking about looking at them, people know that I'm thinking yeah, about yeah, looking yeah. at them, and then it's not natural. But that's why when I see people do that, I was like, "That's not natural." It's crazy because we have probably like it's like a movie moment, but yeah. no one no one sings which is like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> yeah no one does that for in yeah. real life. You know what I mean? We've, yeah. got, we've probably got I would say I like a 10? dozen. Yeah, ten. 10 but it, which leads me to my next game show. Does Cody know oh, the yeah. inside joke? We're gonna name a song that oh, we play yeah, in the yeah. set, and you're gonna have to see the thing that we do every single time. Oh my god, yeah. I'm excited for this. All right, okay. let's start with one that we do during the support set. Oh yeah, yeah. N M E. Do you know anything that Do you know anything that the band's doing during N M E? Do you do the hand thing? There are the, two things. There are two. two the high. The thing I do, like in there, the middle. The there's two things. That's your first guess. I don't, I don't the thing know. that I do. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in front? <laughs> oh wait, so you guys are definitely doing the thing. I, I think I know. We're all doing it together, right? God, Dude, I'm like such an like... asshole. <laughs> no. the, uh, the hand raise my hand high thing. Okay, thought... so the t- the two things. It's an inside joke. It's during that yeah, part. Yeah. It the, is during that there's part. There's two things that, that we do during the set. During the verses, okay. Uh, Bobby, Bunny Man, uh, and I Bobby switch Bunny. back and forth between the set while stomping to the beat. The oh, there's three doom, things then. Doom, doom. Switch, switch, what do you switch mean switch back and forth? We switch they, back and forth on the stage. They walk angrily yeah. like, a, like a child that just got grounded. So you're yeah. walking in a circle? No, back and forth. He goes from stage left to stage right. Oh, you're like, you're like, right stop, stage like, right. like mad stomping. Yeah, yeah, back and okay, forth okay. Behind, behind you. I had because, no idea. Uh, it's just in time with the music. The dum, yeah. dum, dum, dum. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we, what's the other one that we well, do? So, so during mm-hmm. uh, going into the second chorus, Bobby started doing this thing. Where he? What do you call it when it's, uh, it's like when you hit the bridge of your the you guitar? Hit the bridge oh, the quang! I know about yeah. that one. And we, I love that. We, yeah, we hype it up. But then in the bridge, okay, oh, yeah. I give Zach a drumstick. Yeah, and he beats the shit that's out during of that some song. Cymbal. I yeah. saw I saw a photo of it recently. And oh, that's the really? only reason I knew that was happening. I'm lay, I'm laying in my bug. I'm like, oh, Zach does that. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't looked behind him once. It's been eight years. He has not Who's like, in front? Look in front. <laughs> Who's in front? <laughs> Book in front. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I, bas- I take the during the bridge the dun, can, dun, can. Yeah, yeah. during that thing. Yeah. I'm hitting Max's ride symbol as hard as I can, yep. and then I throw the drumstick to him. And I say we fifty percent of the he, time. He ca- well, he throws it pretty well, but the, the show the, the, the show before last he threw it directly at the ground. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it's gone. I, I still I, haven't recovered I have an the idea. drumstick. Yeah. Now that we're talking about this, yeah. how often or how, how how often how many drumsticks do we have? Like, are we are we set? Uh, probably. Yeah. What if you threw that drumstick out into the crowd? Oh, they would like that. <laughs> Dude, 
vape was coming. I hope you're watching it on camera. Yeah, Zach his vape was, was exhaling vape through the nose <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> Oh man! There's like a guy. I would love to do that though. I think throwing out a drumstick would be fun because well, I never. How do you to get to that. throw out a drumstick? Yeah, and never. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I've never thrown out a drumstick. There you go. You know, uh, I I think there's even more stuff that you probably don't know about that we oh, do. Before oh, we do that, sure. before we before we continue, there's one thing yeah. that I wanted to talk about, and I want to see if you experience this as well. Yeah. So we throw stuff out at the end of the show, drumsticks and set set lists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so hard to throw a piece of paper dude, so and not hard. have it fly directly oh, back at yeah. your face. I've never got the consistency down. Dude. It's like I, I fold it into a V. And yeah. I hold it up, and I'm like, oh, if I just throw it like downwards, it'll the wind like will that. catch and it'll go up. Sometimes it does, and I'm like, nailed it. Yeah. And then sometimes it just goes right to Dude, the ground. <laughs> I can't get the set list past the first row yeah. ever. Yeah. And if it gets if it gets to the barrier, I'm like, good enough. <laughs> like, Dude, because like it just goes. <laughs> Mine hit a security guard today. No, really? Yeah. I do think the security guards uh, enjoy handing out the set list. Yeah, though. they get that moment. So it is, it is nice. nice for them. Except when they get a paper cut in the back of their head. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> Uh, God okay, it. what about um but more inside jokes? Oh, let's see. What's another Oh, uh why another. worry is a good one. Oh, right, what happens to why worry? About this? Why worry? So you stopped doing it, but there is a cool I, I, I don't join you guys every time, but I do know what you're talking there about. There is a cool ad lib moment that you do in the bridge. Oh, the bridge. I've been doing it lately because it's mm. my one time to fucking breathe yeah. on, in this set. <laughs> Me and Bobby both do the Mariah Carey like, like you're in the vocal the booth. Oh, and then we go. Din, din, din. Is it the <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's right when it comes in. <laughs> Every time we, do it, we always think. Of, I don't know if people listen to Tenacious D that listen to this podcast, but there's a song called a uh, uh, tribute. Yeah, and he goes. There's this playing goes. Boo. So when I do. Um, Man up. Yep. Man up. It sounds like something Jack Black would do. By the way, Jack Black, I know you're a big fan of the podcast. Yeah, yeah thanks for listening, dude. If you ever want to hop on, we're big fans. <laughs> yeah. Just we let us know. Truly. Um, that is Jumanji performance was so good. What are we at, Producer Mac? Yeah, don't talk. <laughs> a man of few words. <laughs> By asking. <laughs> oh, because these are 30 minute rippers now. Yeah. Forgot about that. That's right. It's going quick. Uh, where were we? Uh, dead air. Yeah, dead, dead air. air. Oh, well, you fuck. shouldn't be asking. Well, I just wanted to know. Did I ruin the podcast? Mm, ruined. Cut it. Let's right, throw it out in the rain. Let's <laughs> throw it out in the rain. So, so you do like the Mar- Mariah Carey thing yeah. for that? Oh, yeah, we, we do, do that. We do, we do. Um, well, it's not in the support set, but during... Um, uh, oh, during Uncontainable? Uncontainable. Yeah, we... we in the uh, medley? Yeah, yeah. We, we flex See, our I started, arms. I've started flexing. Oh, really? Only one part. I've never do it because I'm sometimes... Oh, like, I know what it is. I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm going to look like a dick. <laughs> But I was like, woke up feeling dangerous. Feels like the moment to like put mm-hmm. the arm up. Mm-hmm. So I woke up feeling flex on them. <laughs> we we, we get yeah. We, we get By the way, we haven't talked about it. Oh yeah, we should talk Yesterday. about that. Yesterday, so we found out what like a week ago. Yes. Yeah, that gonna, dangerous is going to be the theme song for WWE WrestleMania Backlash. And since then, we've been like, what happened to me just now? <laughs> since then, we've been turning on SmackDown or Raw to see when it's going to pop up. We're like, like. Then there's a part of your, there's a voice in your head that goes, well, maybe it's not going to happen. And then yesterday, I walk into the bandwagon, Max is watching Raw, and he goes, have you seen it? <laughs> yeah. Max saw it first, and I was so excited, showed me the clip, and then while we were uh, in here, it played again. Yeah. And it's like all happening. It's so all Dangerous happening. is the theme for that, and they are ripping it left oh, and right. Yeah, yeah. dude, I'm oh, yeah. so excited for that. It's, it's really exciting that we're finally getting these syncs. You know, we got the yeah. PGA thing. We got the uh, ESPN, ESPN hooked us up quite a bit. Yeah, and then it's it's so funny because it's just another example of us picking the wrong single. Yet again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know how I can gauge, uh, like how, how like how far reaching a cool moment is. Yeah, yeah is yeah. how many of my like. Of people that I went to high school with then hit me up. Yeah. To yeah. let me know that it's cool. That's like this tour yeah. when we got the Sum 41 Simple Plan. Oh, tour, yeah. yeah. I got hit up as soon as it was announced. I got hit up by like people out of the boonies, out of nowhere that I haven't spoken to in years, being like, oh, you're coming to Arizona. Can I fucking get a ticket? And first off, we're not even on the Arizona date. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> I got one of those too. Yeah. Or you're, you're coming out to LA or something like that, or like one of the West know. Coast states. Yeah, that's how you know. Yeah. But it happened with the WrestleMania backlash thing. Um, uh, uh, like I went to elementary school, middle school, high school with this friend of mine, and they hit me up out of the blue, and they were just because we <laughs> we loved the song "My Sacrifice" by Creed. 
Oh, yeah. I don't know if you heard it. It's a banger. My sacrifice! There it is. But it was, uh, we found out about it because it was a, a theme song for a pay-per-view. Yeah. Oh, and nice. so he hit me up being like, I hope it has as much lasting power as Creed, my sacrifice. No <laughs> way. That's oh. so dope. Oh, it will. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, Scott Stapp, we're coming for you, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, that's our that's our main competition is Scott Stapp. Scott. <laughs> Every album we make, we're like, I hope this yeah. beats Scott Not Stapp. Not Creed, just Scott Stapp. No, just yeah. Scott. Personally. Just Scott. Scotty. <laughs> Scotty Scott, Stapp. Scott Stapp. <laughs> hey, fucking hate that guy. Just kidding. I have no idea we who he is. We have no relationship yeah. with him. Starting, we, we went to the same high school. Scott Stapp? Me and Scotty Stapp. Went you, to to, you went to the same high school. You went to, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. you went to a private high school, though, right? I did, yeah. 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 Did. Didn't you wear uniforms? I was at a private middle school. Uh, we didn't wear uniforms, but there was like oh, a- Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I thought Max this. was talking this and telling a story. I'm sorry. Whoops! <laughs> um, Whoops! I'm in front. <laughs> um, no, it was basically like- you, we had these like polo shirts with our yeah. little logo, but you could get like different colors. Yeah. Was, Do you nice. remember shopping for those? Yeah, it oh. sucked because it was weird. There was one store that you could go to, and you had to get there early, or else all of the other people would get oh, all the cool shit. things. Like for example, the khaki shorts were really popular in my school. They sold out immediately, and if you got caught wearing black pants, you were such really? a nerd, dude. dude. That's what's funny is, so I had I went to a private middle school. Because I got, to, I remember vividly. Yeah. In my uh, in my middle school years, in sixth grade in particular, I had these pants that rose above my ankles, which were at the time I don't know if they still are called capris. Capris. Yeah. And so that they just every, the whole school like was like that guy, call him capri guy. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy. And they just all attacked me for wearing these, and so <laughs> I, my, there was all these. It, it was it wasn't Dude, just people that. People were putting up posters and <laughs> shit. They're like, <laughs> fuck capris like, guy. Like wanted. <laughs> Posters, <laughs> like oh, we gotta get him. Don't let him forget. <laughs> it was nonstop, dude. And eventually, my mom was like, "Are oh, we gonna get you out of school?" So I, I changed schools after sixth grade. You changed because you wore capris? No, 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 no. I said it all came to a head. Like there was multiple things. One of the things she saw was like two of my friends were like playing monkey in the middle with me with my own backpack, but no boohoo. Oh I'm my fine. god, dude, that's like a classic. I know. It's like for out of a movie. They hold you upside down and take your lunch money. <laughs> I was honestly moments away from that happening next. <laughs> So there was all these, like, I would come up with, like, a new horror story every every day, um, and then my mom was like, we're going to move you to a school where it's uniforms and no one can make fun of you for your clothes. So I was like, ha, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Get it, ready. You think, you think now, and you're like, why am I so insecure about the things that I wear or yeah. the stuff that I do? And then you remember that you wore pants that went slightly up here that's and the entire took. school ruined you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy started it, and everyone was like, that's funny. He's reacting to it. Let's all join in. And it, it is that it was, it was crazy, but you're right. You you go and you pick out your clothes. I was there for two more years, and it didn't change a thing. They were just as mean. We're what it's sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. That's like yeah, the yeah. worst kinds of people to hang out Dude, with. I'm so bad with that. When someone's like, "Yeah, I was in sixth grade," I was like, "So you're you were 28?" Like I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yes. So yes. bad at figuring out. If that we've now. talked about this, but if if I can't tell. Like how old a child is. Like oh yeah yeah me either. Like if the, I don't know at what age they start talking or like having memories. Yeah, I'm yeah, now yeah. learning that because of my niece. Oh yeah. I didn't know. I, I didn't. Your niece is three. twelve. Oh. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Okay. <laughs> she's three now. <laughs> three. I don't know if, if it's common. I think she's the genius. But yeah. uh, she's like she's three years old and she was apparently so Shay my my girl was over there. Um, she was at her friend's Your wedding. Fiance. My fiance. Your fiance. I hate saying the word. What? You don't like saying fiance? Fio- my fiance. <laughs> but uh, we, excuse was, me. Is there any way that you have a table available for my, me and my fiance? fiance. <laughs> That's how it feels. No, we don't. So, this is a McDonald's. This is a McDonald's. Please <laughs> you can leave sit us alone. Wherever you want. Do you want a McDouble? <laughs> <laughs> so she was over there, and she like has this like toy kitchen thing and she like made her coffee in breakfast and I was oh. like and she's talking in full sentences yeah. apparently now she's starting to cuss what already oh, this is kind of funny I gotta tell you the story so my sister um, sends me a screen cap of a text mes- message between um, her and her I guess preschool teacher I don't know what, what it is or maybe they're it's daycare they're in three they're in preschool maybe it's daycare Oh yeah, three's preschool. Yeah, See, I have is no it? Idea. kindergarten yeah, I don't is know. kindergarten I don't is. Up, 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 up. You're spilling. Oh. <laughs> I'm an adult. Spilling. I'm an adult. So, uh, but uh, kindergarten is five. Four. Pre-K is four. Kindergarten is five. five. Yeah. Yeah. Five? Boom, nailed it. <laughs> but so, uh, I guess there, her teacher texted my sister, and she said uh, something along the lines of like, "Where is this damn?" something at or she's like damn or something like that and and she goes um uncle cody says bad words oh 
Set it Dude. off. <laughs> Put it on me. Is that, and uh, is my sister influence. sent it to me as like, like, as like a ha-ha tee We used and to we, tour with a guy named Uncle Cody. <laughs> we did. We did. That's a whole other story. Wait, Wait, so, yeah, we don't is, have to get into um, that. Is, is Rella a, I, like, would you consider them an iPad baby? Because I know that the new generation, the fear, is that they all watch Cocomelon on the iPad. She does. Yeah. Does it have the big, silly blue case? Yes. Oh, she's, oh, yeah. She's got like the gigantic case and it protects it, but it's not like... From what I've seen, it doesn't seem to be inhibiting anything. Right. Yeah, she's very aware of what's going on. But she did that. Oh, then the, the other thing I told you eventually is so she came home uh, and she goes, Mommy, can I say bitches? <laughs> what? And, and I, I, she said that to me and I was like, it's like where the hell did she hear, hear bitches? I don't say yeah. bitches in any of our songs. Yeah, and I mean, like, well, that's, that's definitely fine. not me. <laughs> and I was like, so where is that from? Uh, but I don't, think, I don't say bitches. It's plural. Yeah, it's she wants to say the plural. There's only one. Yeah. She the plural bitches. Bitches. And bitches. And so then she goes, where'd you hear that? Who told you you could say that? And um, she goes, Max. What? <laughs> she called you out, which you've never said. I don't think I've ever cursed Bull ever. shit. Yeah. Do you have 30 seconds? Oh. oh. oh no, it's ending. Cut it, cut it, cut it. It's ending. It's ending. So we are going to end the podcast because we, they, wow, dude, this is fun. When we when we get yeah. off stage, the brains are just going. I, I think this, I think we should do this. Well, there's something that on. I thought we were going to do on this podcast, but now we have to wait till next podcast. What is it? It's that there, you're going to see a clip of us laughing really hard if it's not already out about oh, Zach's reaction I'm so glad to eating raw is... ginger, which we, should, we, we can not still done, do it. We can still do it. I, I guess. think we should save it to the next one. Oh, yeah. We'll save it. To the this this will be the uh, the teaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next podcast, we're going to so we're gonna cut up raw ginger, and all three of us are going to cut it up and eat it. And, dude, if you haven't done it, it's so yeah. sneakily spicy. Yeah, but let's not, no, let's not describe it too much because we got we we'll to save it for the You'll see the reaction. Now you're going to see it twice. And but, props to you for being down to do it. Yeah. No, I am excited to do it, but let's plug a few things. Oh, what, uh, what should we plug right now? The, first off, Dangerous. Yes. Uh, out. I mean, it's going to be a WWE backlash. We Theme song. Talked yes. Talked about that. Uh, fan club. Yes, VIP fan club. Yes. Uh, Set it off band.com. Check out that. We're going to be doing extended episodes of the podcast on the fan club. Yes, we're going to we do some figured, extra ones. We haven't figured out fully if we're going to do full episodes. Or on many, the, yeah. yeah, yeah we're many, about or this if stuff. we're going to do extended. But you are going to get exclusive podcasts. Yeah. Talk it off podcast. 100%. I cannot wait for. Yes. Are there any other It's going to be unhinged. We're on tour. As if these were Oh, we're on tour. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're, <laughs> uh, we're doing Slam Dunk, and then we're- uh, oh, We're about to announce- so it's, when, when will we release this? I don't know. After Thursday, you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Then we can announce we're going to be on Four Chord Festival. Four Chord, baby! Four Chord! We were told- So there was like on that ad mat, uh, it's, it takes place in Pittsburgh. We were told we couldn't announce until after we played Pittsburgh, which is where we're playing tonight, so- um, this Thursday we're going to announce that, and then this Thursday we get to watch Doctor Strange. Doctor I cannot Strange. wait. Oh, and then man. I'm going to watch the final episode of Moon Knight. God, we didn't even talk about everything everywhere all at once. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's so much we got to save for the next one. Yeah, know. that's but for our movie corner. Yep. Thank you for joining us. This is a new sign-off right now. I'm doing it live oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Thank, sing, the, right, sing the sign-off right, song. Thank you yeah. so much. Here's the, the sign-off song. Thank, thank you, you for coming to the, the podcast. podcast. It's, it's called, called Talk It Off. off. And when we you can Thank you for listening to our target of all. Yeah, we've been rehearsing that for a while. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good night. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, the way it was so good. So yeah, good. that was fun. I love it. Space bar. <laughs>